I will go ahead and use the read CSV function to read this file in. And now if I ask to see the first five lines, I can see that um, there are some columns that don't have any values. In the original table, those uh, columns had blank cells in them. Uh, and what Python does anytime it reads in a blank cell is it assigns a missing data indicator uh, that's displayed as NAN. Uh, NAN stands for not a number, and it's uh, um, an indicator that's used in basic Pythons, and it's basically been repurposed here to represent missing data in a data frame. Um, also, if I want to see uh, w just a listing of all the columns, I can do that. This table has a lot of columns. I can't actually see all of them without scrolling. But I can just say schools.columns, and I end up getting a uh, listing of all of the columns that are in the table. And if I want to display uh, the values that are in a particular column, like school name, I can use the, um, this notation here where I pass in a string as the identifier for the column. And now I see the, um, an abbreviated list because this particular data frame has 168 columns. Uh, sorry, 168 items in each column. So instead of showing me all 168, it's, it's, it's showing me the first and last five. So this is another way to get kind of an abbreviated view of a table that's very large.